So now that we saw the result and how it looks with a curve at back, let me just turn off that and go in so we can have fully and we will show all objects so we can see the base geo inside. So this is the basic setup that we will have with a curve at back. I will just remove the curve at back and work again from scratch here. So remember that I told you that there is a guide process node. You can see it here on this area. So from here to here, you can see all the guide, so here, all the guide process node. You, we have the basic guide process, the bend, freeze, lift, set direction, set length, smooth, straighten. So those are the basic effects that we will have and we can add with the guide process node. Most of them, you will find them here on top also. And we will start with a guide process. So we're just going to create a guide process basic one. Let's go with the bend. So guide process bend. We have the node here and the moment that you put it on top of the network, it will automatically connect all the inputs. So it's going to connect the first one, the guides, the skin and the skin BDB. And if you go down here, you will be able to see that we have the options of the operators there. So on the guide process itself, we have the group type, primitive points of edges, primitive will be the basic primitive geo itself, the point will be per point, and the edges, you already know, is an edge. You can also do group selection, selection, we don't have any groups, and you can visualize the mask. The mask will be here and we'll explain, we will explain masking further along the tutorial. On the operation itself, on the guide process, we have the operations menu that sets the amount of operations that you will do for this node. So you can have either several nodes and you can also have several operations inside of the same node. It's important to know that this will affect depending of the order of your operations and some operations don't have an attribute to override the blend. So if you have to blend it, it's better to create more than one if they are not going to share the same mask. It's important to take that into account. So if your operators are not going to share the same mask, let's say one is on the foot and the other one it's on the head and you don't want to affect one with the other, it's better to create a different guide process. If they share the same area, let's say that you want for the leg, to bend them and then to increase the length just for the leg, it will be a good idea to create the same node and to add an operator inside of that node. So this is the basic setup for that. We have an active operator, in this case is the basic blend or bend. Then we have the operation, that in this will be set direction, set lift, set length, displace, wave, straighten, smooth, freeze and bend and then set simulator and attributes. We have the basic blend. The blend, if you unselect, if you, use, if you deselect here, you will change and you will not see them selected. So that's important to notice. The blend will be basically a mask. So a main mask of the operation itself. Let me just go here and increase the width of these curves so we can see them a little bit better. So let's go inside and now we have them either more visible than before. So the blend is going to be the mask of the effect and then bend in root direction. We can have the bend in normal root direction. You can see the angle, how it changed. So it reads the matrix of the root and bends them on that angle. If you put a value of zero here and then you have a random angle, you can increase randomly by, if I put 10, it's going to go on if our value is zero, it's going to increase this by 10 degrees in positive and negative. Accordingly, or if we have, let's say, this is our hair and the matrix of this, it's zero. If we have a random of 10, it will move 10 degrees here and 10 degrees here, or 10 degrees here and 10 degrees here accordingly. Then we have the random bias that is how tight we want this random to happen. So it's basically the curve. 
we can have this value or we can have sorry we can have this value or we can have this value so this will be the bias how tight do we want the curve to exist a uh, cross product and cross root tangent direction this one it's as you can see the other angle and this one actually i don't know okay it's kind of a noisy breakup there so that's an interesting one I haven't tested that one that much then we have the different ways that you can actually bend. Bend in root direction, that is was the one that we were using. Bend in a direction constant. This one is really useful because you can bend everything in one single direction. This will give us the possibility to add a lot of effects. If we play this with a good card like this and two directions and then we add some small random, we can have some nice effects. You will see it later when we jump into the tutorial, but this one here, it's super useful and I do find it one of the best effects that you can do. Then we have the tree X, Y, Z. We have direction curve attribute that is going to read the bend direction. At this moment, we don't have any bend direction, so it's not going to increase. We have direction skin attribute. It's the same is happening. We don't have any direction skin attribute, but if we did, it will increase accordingly to that axis constant that is similar but it will be accordingly to the actual axis so it actually increases the effect constantly per curve on the axis that is using so this is kind of a spiral effect which is really cool too you can change the direction that you want and you will have the effect accordingly axis curve attribute constant so this one is the same we don't have a bend on the curve so we haven't had any direction before so it's not going to bend and we have set simili, uh, sorry, that's not the one. We have the skin axis attribute. We don't have any attribute on the skin, so we'll not react. And each of them has an override that could be a guide attribute, a skin attribute, or a texture from the outside. If you want to add one more deformator or one more, one more operator, you can just do it there and it's going to add one more and you will have it here. So this will be the basic for the guide uh, process. And we will see one by one all the operators and what do they do. Thank you for following the tutorial and see you in the next one.